Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Productivity 1000 series PLC and establishing communications with the uh, Productivity Suites programming software. Now we call up the software as we installed last time we installed the software. Now we're going to communicate to our PLC. Now I'll show you my PLC here. We have our uh, micro USB port located right here and then we have our Ethernet port right here. Now to program this unit, we can program through either one of these uh, ports that we have. So calling up the software, you'll see up my screen, we actually have uh, read the project from the P CPU. This is one way to get to our CPU connection screen. Okay, I'll just close that down. The other way is we can hit choose uh, CPU, and again, that will get us back to this same screen. Or the third way is we have under our application tools, we have choose PL or CPU and we just double click it. Again, the same screen appears. And the final way that we can call this up is if we go to CPU and then we choose CPU. And again, the same screen then appears. What it's telling me is that there's two types of uh, communications right now. We have a USB uh, 2.0 and this is device number it's reading which is our cpu unit that we have right here the, the p1-540 and we have a usb connection we also have an ethernet connection so what we can do is we can click on that and just to make sure that we have the right cpu we can hit the start blinking cpu run light so when you do that what you will see is my run light now is blinking so you can tell right away that uh, you're communicating to the correct uh, CPU. So we'll hit stop. And what we'll do is go to our Ethernet. And on our Ethernet, you'll see it defaults into 10.10.10.10, which is not the right IP address. So if we want to change that, which we do, we're going to then put in a Ethernet port that's connected to our network here, 192.168. Point one point and we'll give it 14 and then our default gateway this is the gateway to get to the um, internet it would be 192.168.1.1 and then we'll hit OK and what it's going to do is it's going to uh, check and change that IP address in the uh, PLC itself and then what you'll see is it comes back here and sure enough that's what it is so if I hit it and I can hit start um, the run light here, you can see again, it's blinking my run light for me. So the next thing I do is you can see here that the CPU connections, both of them are now available. So I'll can just double click on my ethernet connection. And when I do, it gives me the warning because I have no valid project currently in the CPU. It's a brand new CPU. So I can just hit okay. What you'll notice is that I am online. Currently right now, under my menu up here, you can see that I'm online and it's currently in a stop mode. I can also look to my left hand side at our application and you can see here that I'm in my stop mode, it's highlighted. And furthermore, if we look at our status screen at the bottom here, you'll see that I'm under the CPU. I'm connected uh, through this uh, IP address, 192.168.114. Again, and then my name of my CPU, uh, P1-540. So that's how I can communicate to my um, PLC. Now if I hit offline, now my run light, or my stop signal goes off, same with over here. So now I'm not connected anymore. If I want to get back online again, and we'll try the USB connection. Again, comes up with a warning, hit OK. And when we do, now down at the bottom, my status, you'll see my USB 2.0. And again, I'm back in my stop mode. I'm still online now. And over here, my CPU, I'm stopped and I'm in my online mode. Right. So you see that it's very straightforward to get, communicate, or get communicating to our productivity series. And next time, what we'll do is we'll put a, put a program in there and start looking at the actual logic. Now all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca and if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out.
You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You will also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.